All right, are you ready, Heath? Let's do this. Well, that was disappointing. With the help of quantum physics, sending data via light may soon become even more impressive. This. It's a Qubit Lab! And then I was like, your universe exists in a metastable vacuum. So, you know, she's not really talking to me right now. Keith? Oh, hey, gotta go. Don't forget to check on the cat. Communication technology has come a long way. As we've seen in other episodes, communicating with quantum particles is becoming a more viable option. The art of transferring a quantum state, like a photon, from one place to another is called quantum communication. We know that quantum communication can be used to send data, such as secret keys for secure applications, across an optical fiber. Quantum communication relies on a phenomenon known as entanglement, where two particles interact like a single quantum object. Let's say that Bob and Alice here want to communicate using entangled photons. In this case, the two particles are flipped coins. If we sent one flipped coin to Bob and the other to Alice, then either coin could randomly be heads or tails. But since the coins are entangled, if Alice sees that her coin is heads, then Bob's will be heads as well. This technology has been commercially available for a few years now, but imagine taking that point A to point B setup and turning it into a more complex network. This network could be grown to a trans and eventually intercontinental scale. And this quantum internet could be interfaced with the existing fiber optic communication networks. Currently, the ability to distribute quantum particles is limited because of transmission loss along the optical fiber. Particles are lost as they travel through the fiber. Since they work in pairs, when one is lost, the entanglement is also lost. In the real world, we have seen successful transmissions up to 150 kilometers, 250 kilometers in the lab. But if we are to one day see a global network based on quantum communication, we're going to need a way to extend the distribution of entangled quantum particles. That leads us to... Repeaters. And that leads us to... Repeaters. And that leads... Yes, we get it. Let's say we gave Heath a walkie-talkie. Cool. And then sent him to Siberia. Oh. If he tries to send us a message, his radio won't be strong enough. The signal would get lost along the way. But if there are repeaters along the way that can relay the signal, his message can get boosted long enough to make it back to us. <laughs> Researchers are working on developing quantum repeaters that would allow quantum particles to be distributed farther. The project is called QREP, and they believe that within the next decade, there will be commercially viable repeater technologies that can extend the range of quantum communications. So how do these quantum repeaters work? We start with a source that emits pairs of entangled photons. These particles are sent to quantum memories, where they can be stored while we wait for the next entangled pair to be ready. When two neighboring quantum memories are ready, their stored particles are released and measured in a special way. The measured photons are destroyed, and the entanglement is swapped to the further two particles, meaning the entanglement is now distributed over twice the distance. The process can then be repeated, allowing the particles to be further apart while remaining entangled. By creating a chain of repeaters like this using solid-state quantum memories, integrated photon sources, and advanced detection schemes, we may soon send photons whizzing around the planet on the current telecommunications network, because this all will be totally compatible with standard fiber optic networks. So get ready to say bye-bye to your smartphone. Not yet. But with the creation of quantum repeaters, the future of communication is going to be decidedly smarter. That's it for us. I'm Heath. And I'm Laura. We'll see you next time. All right, let's do this again. Are you sure? I really don't think the technology the, 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 is ready. Less to... talking, more button pushing.
Laura? Yes, Heath? I think I'm back in Siberia. I don't think so. No, really, it's cold and dark and I can't see anything. I really don't think you're back in Siberia, Heath. Wait, shh, shh. Be quiet, I think I heard something. What if it's a wolf pack? Bob, protect me. Yeah!